guys. Today we're going to talk about uh, prayer. Today is going to be a talk about, because this came from a question that, that came in several weeks ago. And the last message on the chat board was, what about my question? And the question was, how should we pray? How do we pray? How does a Course in Miracles person pray? And that's a great question. It's an important question. And there's really good reference for it in the course. And if you're like me, I came from a background that, that didn't know anything about prayer. And then I knew everything about prayer the wrong way. The wrong, the wrong, it was a, it was a prayer for asking for things to be different. It was asking for God outside of me to fix this, help me, blah, blah, blah. And in my mind, the only prayer that's really effective in that way is a total surrender. Because in, in my mind, you're letting go of anything that you thought you knew. And that gives just a little bit of an opening for the divine to come in and really start shaking stuff up. So at first, <laughs> when that prayer is heard, at first it's like, oh my God, I asked for help and this has happened? And uh, that's because you really surrendered to, the, to what you are, to your true essential nature. And there is, you know, it's a, the, the question of prayer is a, an important question because we're always finding that People are asking for prayer, and how can we help? How can we, how can we assist in this situation? How can we, uh, how can we extend love into this situation that seems like it's really uh, not fun? It really seems like it's a, a travesty or a situation uh, that it's out. It's I don't know what to do. Help! And there is a way to pray effectively. And the course teaches us that it 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 shows us how to how to pray. It show, it tells us how not to pray, and it tells us how to pray. And the prayer part of it is amazing. The what we're what we can do in prayer is extraordinary. And there's a an example of how to how, one example of how we can pray for another that's in the cameos of the. Uh, purple book. And I'm going to share a couple examples from that uh, cameo. I think it's cameo 10. And uh, so that you can see where Jesus gave actual instructions to Helen on how to pray for a couple of individuals. And, and then we're also going to have a time where we're going to pray uh, this morning for, we're going to practice a prayer, uh, a, a time of prayer. And you guys that are online, I invited you to, uh, is the sticky up? This sticky note. So I invited you to, if you have any prayer requests, just type them in and we'll include those in our prayer with uh, everyone this morning. And, uh, and we'll get back to that. We'll come back to prayer in a few minutes. In the, in the Song of Prayer pamphlet, there's a whole section here on prayer. And the very first line in the Song of Prayer, it says, prayer is the greatest gift with which God blessed his son at his creation. So prayer is, is not something that we do. Prayer is something that we are. That's why we pray without ceasing. And that's why when we use the power that we are in God and we pray for the wrong reasons, we pray for stuff that is like in form, we pray for neediness and we pray for travesty and we pray for for focused on the illusion we're just really asking for more of that and the power of god that is what we are will support that asking you receive you get it so you need to like notice what you're asking for notice where you're and and don't make yourself guilty for it either learn to develop that uh, that that way of pausing. Learn to develop that that momentary pause feature that we all have. We have the ability, if we if in in the stillness, and just notice the experience, and and in that quiet place, in that quiet place of pausing, 
Now you're connected. Now you're connected. The connection is made every time. And if you guys have anything that is、uh, heavy on your heart right now, or someone that you know comes to your mind as we are talking about prayer, let's just、um, bring it into this light experience. You guys online, if you have prayers that you typed in, whatever those prayers are, just allow yourself to come into this pause moment. In this quiet place of presence, God's voice speaks to me. The presence of what I am. Because right now we're we're connected in recognition and acknowledgement. We're connected in the truth. We're connected in the light. So we we are light beings, really. We are pure presence. We are pure light. And we're in the recognition of that right now. Which brings us immediately into and as the altar of truth. We are the altar of truth in this very instant, right now. And you are holy. You are beloved. And you are here with all living things. And the oneness and presence. Of truth. And light. And and right here is the love of God, Yahweh, Jehovah, Shiva. All of those names for Christ. For presence, and here when we pause here, anything that came into your into your mind, anything that came in that maybe something that you want prayed for, just just lay it right here on the altar. Just just lay it on the altar where you are. This altar of light, pure presence. Any people, even though it's in in time, just bring any situation that you、uh, know is occurring, any thoughts that you have about something that's happening, or something that could use the light, that could use the love of God. Just bring it into this altar of truth, and now. Collectively, all of us that are listening to this, our attention on on being, our attention, recognition of the truth of what all of us are. Now we are in gratitude for God, for the source of all things. Which is not separate from us, but 
but we are like a current in this ocean of God presence. And as this ocean of God presence, we extend our love to everyone on the planet, everyone on the earth. If you can just imagine this wrapping yourself like this, this invisible, formless presence around the whole of the earth. And now this same presence it has the power and presence of God. It, it actually radiates out past all of the planets in the solar system, and it never ends. It just goes and goes and goes. It goes beyond this solar system that we're in, the Milky Way, and it just keeps on going. It encompasses all things. And it it doesn't even stop in, in dimensions of time have no resistance to this. It just keeps on going. This is the presence of love that you are. You are this pure presence and this light. And when we pray, we're standing in this. When we pray, we are joined and encompassed with all that is. All of creation. There's no place where, where we began, where it started, or that we end because it's eternal. And in this experience of, of knowing this, we're just grateful. We're grateful to know the truth We are the light. Ha. We are what God is. That feels so good. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. So that was a that was a kind of a prayer. A little bit long when I couldn't have eggs with that one. I, I get in trouble for having that prayer. <laughs> if Lisa just made us a nice breakfast, <laughs> if, it'd be cold. <laughs> so this says um, that when we pray that you have sought first the kingdom of heaven and all else indeed has, be, has been given to you. The secret, Jesus says in the in this song of prayer of true prayer is to forget the things you think you need. This is, this is really the most important uh, part about praying for things that you think you need in the world to ask for the specific is much the same as to look on sin and then forgive it. Can you read that again? To ask for the specific is much the same as to look on sin and then forgive it. All, pardon me? Also, you'll get more of the meaning of it in the next uh, sentence. Also, in the same way in prayer, you overlook your specific needs as you see them, as you see these needs or these things that you think you need, and let them go into God's hands. There they become your gifts to him. For they tell him, and see, this is what I'm talking about, the hymn. It's a dualistic 
language, but God is really is what you are. So you're not really giving it to a to a guy with a beard and uh, something that's making choices. All of the choices are yours. All and really, there's no choice because once you surrender everything, you only want what God is. You only want you, you to experience the holiness of what you are, and you could live there. And, and you do live there eternally. 